world. Welcome to part two of making panoramas. We have discussed the process of generating a panorama in part one, so we go over this quickly. We take the same panorama images, but we're gonna make two panorama pictures. One for Facebook, one for the server. As we will show you further on, the only difference is the size, that's all. Because Facebook is limited in their sizes, we go 10 megabyte maximum. I don't know if this is the real maximum, but for me that always works. If you have, like me, your own server, size doesn't matter. So we go for the principle, the bigger the better. Because I don't like nasty edges on my images, I always crop the zenit. You don't need to crop the nadir. As you can see, the file size is huge. So we go reduce it for Facebook, below the width of 10,000. So we give it a name and we render the image. For the original panorama, we leave all the setting and sizes as they are. Now you can see our Facebook image is 10 megabytes and our original image is 42 megabytes. Of course it's JPEG, that means it's compressed. We open Facebook and we upload the Facebook image. And there is your panorama. Please note that when you are watching in a mobile device, the gyroscope is actually working, but not on the normal website. Now we are going to prepare a simple virtual tour for your web server. Like Autopano Giga, Pano 2 Pro is a product of color and discontinued, but it's still the best around. I'm just setting some basic parameters. And here I import the panorama image. Of course the full size. Now I set up the home directory for the local host. And I give the file name. And now I build the directory with the server files. And this is the result on the local host.
Now we will add a hotspot. A hotspot can refer to another panorama or to an image or to a music file or to an image file or a movie, whatever you want. We just take a picture. First we create a hotspot and we will put it on the panorama. Then we change the overlay on the panorama. After every change we need to rebuild the panorama. And we can view it again in the local host. And there is our hotspot. Now we go connect an image to the hotspot, but of course you can connect everything, including movies or other panoramas. Now we need to select the image. Rebuild. And there it is. We can add as much hotspots as you want. I will put a link below to one of my better virtual tours. The final build. And there is our repository which we'll have to copy to the server. And of course the full link will be below in the description.